Today's lesson, we are looking at physics. We will be focusing on Newton's laws and applications of Newton's laws. Basically, we will be focusing on tension. Let us start. Our first question is, is based on this question paper. Now, the scenario is saying two blocks of masses 20 kg and 5 kg respectively are connected by a light inextensible string P a second light inextensible string Q attached to the 5 kg block runs over a light frictionless pulley a constant horizontal force of 250 newtons pulls the second string as shown in the diagram below the magnitudes of tension tensions in p and q are t1 and t2 respectively respectively ignore the effects of uh, friction there is a lesson video whereby we focus on the basics of this calculation this question is based on Newton's laws and applications of Newton's laws. So just make sure you watch that lesson video. If you get lost throughout this lesson video. So here we can see we have these two diagrams. The first one is 5 kg. The second one is 20 kg. And then we have T1 and T2. And then we also have force applied on T2. So the first question is saying draw a labeled free body diagram indicating all the forces acting on a 5 kg block. Now to answer this question I will just add a bit. We are going to draw free body diagrams for both of these objects. So for 5 kg remember we represent an object using a dot. Looking at the force diagram of this block, we can see we have T2, this direction. We have T1, this direction. And we have FG. So basically our free body diagram will be like this. So the free body diagram, it will be T2. T1 and then we have weight or we can say FG. Let's actually draw this. So it's a dot representing an object. So we have T2, we have T1. then we have weight so this is the free body diagram and the mark allocation for this question will actually guide us on how for how many forces are acting on this block since it's three marks just know that we are going to have three forces so this is actually our free body diagram now let us look at the 20 kg block so it's a dot and then we have T1 and weight so we only have two forces acting on this block now going to our next question it's saying calculate the magnitude of tension T1 in string P so we are looking for We are actually looking for this T1. And looking at the mark allocation, we can see that our steps will be a bit longer. But it's simple, it's not difficult. We need to understand something. Now, if we apply 250 newtons this direction, it means the whole system will go up. 
so since the displacement of the whole system is up I'm going to consider up as positive down as negative it means all the forces facing up will be positive all the forces facing down will be negative and then we also need to take note that we are actually applying 250 newtons on T2 so we can say T2 is equals to force applied and then we are looking for T1 we need to generate equations so we have F net is equals to MA we are actually focusing on 5 kg block then we said how many forces are acting on 5 kg block remember our free body diagram is like this T1 and weight so we can see that we have three forces how many forces are facing up we have only one force which is T2 so our T2 will be positive plus remember F net it is the sum of all forces acting on the block then we have another force which is T1 so it will be T1 since it's facing down it's negative plus we have another force which is weight it's equals to MA from here since we said T2 is the same as force applied since we are applying force on tension 2 so T2 is 250 newtons minus T1 and then remember weight weight is FG weight is equals to MG so since we have the mass the mass is 5 multiplied by 9.8 meters per second so we can substitute here 5 multiplied by 9.8 it's equals to the mass we are still focusing on the 5 kg block so it's 5 a remember we don't know the acceleration of the system we are looking for t2 so we need to make t2 the subject of the formula so what we can do we can transpose t2 this side and take 5a that side such that we have something like this t1 it's equals to 250 minus 9.8 minus 5a so we can quickly simplify this so 250 minus 5 5 multiplied by 9.8 it's 201 minus 5a so we equate this as equation 1 we generated this equation from 5 kg block now we need to proceed and generate equation number 2 from the 20 kg block for the 20 kg block we have two forces acting on it so we need to start with F net is equals to MA now how many forces are acting on it we have two forces now T1 will be positive since it's going up it's facing up plus negative and then it's MA now we have T1 minus MG is equals to MA and then T1 is equals to 20 kg no actually negative negative 20 kg multiplied by 9.8 it's equals to 20 multiplied by A so we can take this to the other side so we have T1 it's equals to 20 20a plus 
let us quickly simplify this 20 multiplied by 9.8 it's 196 so this is equation 2 now as you can see equation 1 and equation 2 t is the subject of the formula we can equate the two equations and solve for the unknown which is the acceleration these are our equation so no it's actually t1 so we can equate the two equations since t is the subject of the formula so equation 2 is equals to equation 1 then we have 2 0 a plus 196 is equals to 201 minus 5a then we solving for a we take this to the other side and then we bring this one to this side so we are going to have 20a plus 5a is equals to 1 negative 196 plus 201 so 20a plus 5a is actually 25a it's equals to 201 minus 196 is equals to 5 then we divide both sides by 25 so this will get rid of this and then we have a is equals to 0 0,2 meters per second so the, 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 the system is accelerating upward with 0 0.2 meters per second. Now since we have the acceleration, we can quickly calculate our T2. This is actually simultaneous but in physical sciences. So we can use any equation to calculate our T2. So looking at our equations, we can use equation 2 or equation 1. So equation, using equation 1, it will be T1 is equals to 201 minus 5, where we see A, we substitute by our answer. So 201 minus 5 into 0 0.2 is actually 200 newtons so this is our answer the question was actually looking for the tension t1 so t1 it's equal it's equal to 200 newtons now that's it for this lesson video there is lesson video 102 whereby we look at another calculation of a different scenario of tension. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.